You're breathtaking. Girls have read it. What is an unspoken rule of girl code? The five minute rule. If it can be fixed in five minutes or less, tell her. If it can't blow its situation, etc., then there's no need to say anything because it will literally only make her feel bad. Also, the opinion rule. Is it a situation where it's your opinion? If it wasn't asked for, keep it to yourself. If it's a factual, fixable issue, inform and then help. A wrong shade of lipstick? Let her express herself as she wishes. Lipstick on teeth? Inform and then let her know when she's all good. This could be a trend across genders too but when a girl says they love something you are wearing you always tell her where you bought it and how much it was and especially if you got it for a discount. And if it's a dress with pockets, you make sure to say that it has pockets. If another girl comes over to you and pretends to know you, no questions asked we've been friends for 30 years and haven't seen each other in 5, and always give a tampon if you have one, and someone needs one. Edit. Never lend tampons, always give. Okay but this has to be done with appropriate facial cues from the girl who knows me, otherwise I'd just be bewildered. If you get breast cancer, let as many people as possible feel your lump so they know what they are looking for. Before my mastectomy, my breast made a lot of new friends. Early detection can mean the difference between life and death. In February, I was diagnosed with oral cancer, base of tongue. Before surgery I had my teeth cleaned. I had the dentist feel the lump so he would know. Oral cancer screening is common practice during dental exams, but they generally don't check that far back. I had surgery, chemo plus radiation and am currently clear of any signs of cancer. I didn't have cancer but did have a benign tumor in my breast. I let all my friends feel that thing. It was morbidly kind of fun to mess with, honestly. I also met a girl at a party who had the same thing so we both whipped out our boobs and felt each other's lumps. Good times. If you walk into the bathroom and the girl in there is being quiet, you do your business and leave as quickly as you can. Girl is trying to poop. What if I gotta poop too? This? And if you need to do something like some makeup or fix a contact lens, uh, run the tap or activate the air dryer. Give her some noise to hide behind, but mainly get out of there ASAP. Edit. I've been waiting for the wasting resources people to turn up. I'm talking a quick run of the tap and blasts of the air dryer not 30 minute marathons. Thanks for the DMS too. Lipstick on their teeth. Eyeliner in the corner of their eye. Skirt tucked into pantyhose. You let them know without making a huge deal about it. When I was in college, I was walking uphill to class from my apartment with about a dozen people walking behind me. A girl suddenly appeared and pulled me aside. And before she even opened her mouth, I was like, is my dress tucked into my tights? She nods. I tried to laugh it off while untucking my skirt and wishing the earth would open up and swallow me whole, and we continue on our way. The same thing happened again later that same day. I once I walked out of my witch shop class, only girl in the class, confused why boys were laughing, walked through the whole school to my bus with people laughing, for a little year 7, 11 years old, to run over to me and pull my skirt down because it was caught in my jumper. No single other person thought to tell me my knickers were on show. Always do this, please. If she's dating a known abuser, take turns getting her out of the house, play cards, shop for shoes, ask her to help you lay out the garden, make pie, never broach the subject yourself, just make sure she knows she's welcome anytime, day or night, with or without advance notice. I've been going through this with a friend and I've learned that always focusing on the good, her value, her skills, loving on her, and also telling her the truth, nicely. When they ask for advice about their relationship has really helped her a lot as she slowly tries to leave. There's two types of rules in this thread. Be kind humans to each other. Try to prevent people from getting raped. As far as I've ever seen, every girl knows the look. The look is a look a girl gets on her face when she is in a situation that she doesn't want to be in. It's part help me and part get me out of here. When you see this look, you step in. Doesn't matter if you know the girl or not. If there's a red spot on her pants you tell her discreetly and immediately. Edit. A lot of guys are asking what to do if they see a woman with a blood stain. You have two options. You could tell her yourself which may or may not be appreciated depending on the woman. Or you could simply ask another woman to tell her. I love how many guys want to help look out for the ladies who end up in this predicament. D. This. My so-called friends didn't tell me I bled into my cocky pants in grade 10. It took a little girl on the bus home asking me what I'd sat in for me to realize. I was so upset. It might be a sniper's laser sight. Edit. Thanks for the awards guys. I feel validated. If someone asks for a sanitary product, you hand one over. Doesn't matter who they are or if you don't like her. If you've got it, you give it. Did this for a random girl in a club and that good feeling lasted all night. Sisterhood man. You always pretend that you know each other when a guy is being a jerk and you, or they, need a way out of a conversation. If friend drinks too much and starts to puke, always hold her hair back for her. 
I don't know how you guys do it. I dressed as Fat Thor to London MCM Comic Con last weekend, and that wig was in my face all day. I couldn't look anywhere without IT getting in my mouth. I look down, mouth, move my head too quickly, mouth. I've always toyed with the idea of growing my hair out. That experience has made me want to keep my hair as short as possible lol. If your friend gets back with her shitty ex you always support your friend but you also tell her the truth and say if the relationship is toxic. No matter how many times, smdh, and the older you get, you learn not to vent your full opinion on him immediately after the breakup because they will probably get back together and she will resent what you said and you because of cognitive dissonance. This one especially applies to college girls. If you're at a party and you see a girl doing something she might regret the next day due to drinking way too much, you go over there and make sure she's okay, and watch the drinks, if you can. Make sure nothing gets accidentally slipped in them. You help other women who seem to be in trouble. When I was a teenager my mom and I went to Walmart to get groceries. We split up to save time and a man started stalking me through the aisles. I finally got out to a main area and saw a lady with two kids, walked right up to her and stood as close as possible. She was confused but when I made a motion at the guy, she understood. She loudly thanked me for getting the milk and called me honey. Also referred to her son as my brother. Once the guy left she stayed with me until I saw my mom and then stayed where she was until I got to my mom and motioned that I was okay. That lady deserves an award for helping me that day. Much like a code among smokers, you can ask anyone smoking to bum one. There are no barriers among complete strangers if she likes your dress slash glasses slash haircut slash etc. You receive the compliment with delight and immediately give details as to how to acquire the same. Then you move on again like the total strangers that you are. I had a woman just ask me once how I wash my hair. I have curly hair. So it's a big a thing to know your routine. And I spent 10 minutes speaking to a complete stranger on the streets of DC like she was my BFF about co-washing, hair twisting, hair products, and all that jazz. Once caveat to this is that. If there is a significant age difference between the compliment giver, being the older one, and the receiver, then there is a chance it might not be received well. It's a fine line. I was at a very serious business convention, suits and all, talking to a vendor who was explaining how her program worked. Lots of big words, most serious. After she finished I thanked her and wondered if, perhaps, she could let me know how she got her curls so perfect and full. Mine were so flat in comparison. It was like a light switch. This serious government programmer turned into my 13-year-old squealing bestie as she told me her step-by-step -step hair care and gave me pointers. To this day I still use her advice and my curls are bangin'. Thank you, random business convention lady. Always give each other tampons and pads when needed, and always tell them if they have leaked through on their clothes. The worst thing's sad face, even if you hate that bitch. Yes, even if you hate that bitch. No women left behind at the club. You look out for and take care of your girls and don't let random men drag them away without their explicit permission. I was at a wedding, I'd been to the Hindu and met the groom's sister, but shy, but sweet was on the dance floor, dancing with friends. This guy came over to me, very drunk, dancing very energetically, enthusiastically, and could have been interpreted as aggressively, towards me. The groom's sister, shy as she was, pulled me aside to check if I was okay and if I knew this guy. I had to explain to her he was my husband and just a happy dancing drunk. Love to her though. Console the crying one. You look sad, have a PS4. I'll see myself out. Always carry an extra hair tie for whoever needs it. Edit. Drunk girl throwing up in the bar bathroom? Don't have an extra hair tie? Take the one out of your hair and give it to the girl in need. After a few drinks, every girl in the bathroom is your best friend. How many blurry mirror selfies do I have of myself and groups of girls I don't remember the names of and will never see again? To each of them. I hope you are thriving. Dudes do this at bars and clubs too to be honest. As a drunk guy every other guy is either looking to fight or is your new best friend. Zero in between. Edit. For first hand refence last weekend I broke up a fight in a bathroom line. The weekend before that some stranger bought me a drink after we waited in line together and chatted. If you're wearing a hair tie on your wrist and someone asks for a hair tie, you give it to them, and accept that you likely will never see it again, unless it's your last one though, right? Only a streak bikes home in the wind without her last hair tie for drunken fools. Although I'll give up my last hair tie if she's got an immediate, interpersonal sexy reason to need it. Help the drunk girl crying in the bathroom. Person 1. I like your dress. Person 2. Thanks. It has pockets. Displays said pockets. If your dress has pockets, you let them know. And let them know where you got said pocketed dress. Same goes for items that you got on sale. Oh that's a cute top. Thanks. It was on sale. Pretend strangers are your friends if you see them being creeped on by a guy, or followed or stared at etc. 
I used to live near a college town slash party town and it sadly happened enough that it stopped catching me off guard. I even got upgraded to fiancé once. Shit must have been really bad for that poor girl. This works pretty well for anyone in a dangerous situation. I once was walking late at night through a bad area and a car started following me with their lights off. I'm a guy, so I was mostly just worried about getting robbed or jumped. Saw a couple dudes sitting on their front stoop and went right up to them like they were my best friends. They were super nice and extra concerned with my safety. Smoked me out and made sure I knew my way home. Very politely tried to have sex with me and just as politely dropped the subject when I refused. Great folks. This is very helpful. As an autistic person who doesn't understand unspoken rules it's very helpful to have posts like this where they're all written. I am autistic, and I read unspoken rules threads for the same reason. A friend of mine said that the most important rule is to always help a sister in need when a creep is following them or won't leave them. There is an almost imperceptible line between intrusive prurience and interest in the sex lives of your friends It's defined by their inclination to share rather than you inquiring or making insinuations. Many friends will discuss sex candidly, others will use discretion, and some will resent the intrusion. Always wait to be confided in rather than commit an indiscretion. There are weird assumptions about the sisterhood that we talk about penis sizes etc without reserve. This is untrue, and we are done bitches. Please subscribe if you liked the video. It really helps the channel to grow. See you again.